Question 13b. When an object is projected from a point h meters above the origin, with initial speed v meters per second at an angle of theta degrees to the horizontal, its displacement vector, t seconds after projection, is rt equals vt cos theta i plus negative 5t squared plus vt sine theta plus h j. Do not prove this. A person, standing in an empty room which is 3 meters high, throws a ball at the far wall of the room. The ball leaves their hand 1 meter above the floor and 10 meters from the far wall. The initial velocity of the ball is 12 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Show that the ball will not hit the ceiling of the room, but that it will hit the far wall without hitting the floor. The trajectory of the ball follows a concave down parabola. The speed of projection is equal to 12 meters per second. The angle of projection is 30 degrees above the horizontal and the height of projection is one meter above the floor. Now the equation that gives the displacement in the x or the horizontal direction with respect to time is x equals vt cos theta. And substituting in v equals 12 and theta is equal to 30 degrees, we get x equals six root three multiplied by t. And we'll call that equation number one. The equation that gives the displacement of the ball in the vertical direction or the y direction with respect to time is y equals negative 5t squared plus vt sine theta plus h and substituting in v equals 12, theta is equal to 30 degrees and h equals 1. We get y equals negative 5t squared plus 6t plus 1. We'll call that equation number 2. Now from equation number 2, the vertex of the parabola represents the maximum height reached. So the time to maximum height is equal to negative b over 2a where negative b is equal to negative 6, it comes from this coefficient there, and 2a is 2 times negative 5, which is negative 10, and that occurs at 0 0.6 seconds after projection. So to find the maximum height, we substitute 0 0.6 into equation number 2. So that's equal to negative 5 multiplied by 0 0.6 squared plus 6 multiplied by 0 0.6 plus 1, and that equals 2.8 metres, which is less than 3 metres. Hence, the ball will not hit the ceiling. Now, from equation number one, the time taken to reach the far wall, which is 10 metres away, can be found by solving the equation 10 equals 6 root 3 multiplied by t, making t the subject of the formula by dividing both sides of the equation by 6 root 3. And we get t is equal to 5 over 3 root 3 seconds. Now from equation number two, so I'll just go back to equation number two there. The height of the ball when t is equal to five over three root three seconds is negative five multiplied by five over three root three all squared plus six multiplied by five over three root three plus one, which equals 2.14387 and so on meters above the floor. Hence, the ball will strike the far wall 10 metres away without hitting the floor or the ceiling.